The public sector compensation review process seems to be nearing a breakthrough. TVJ News understands a number of unions have been deliberating on the new pay structure. Now, our news center received a copy of the draft document. Here's Javon Keys. At the opening of this year's national budget debate on March 8, Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark pledged to complete the long-awaited government compensation review process. The current structure of public sector compensation, Madam Speaker, has 185 allowances and 325 scales. And this is utterly unworkable, inequitable, complex, and it leads to unfairness. This is 325 salary scales. This is what it looks like, Madam Speaker. Our news centre has obtained a copy of the draft heads of agreement dated September 16 to cover the period April 2022 to March 2025. The document outlines 16 pay scales. It's understood it has been shared with the groups represented by the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, JCTU, which are public sector workers excluding the police, nurses and medical doctors. They were expected to review and give feedback by the end of Monday. We're told if the majority of groups agree to the terms, the heads of agreement could be signed as early as this week. Retroactive payments from April this year will have to be made to the workers. Under the new 16-scale structure, according to the document, the lowest category of workers could earn a maximum $1.3 million before tax, while the highest paid group could earn up to $24.6 million. The pay listed also includes traveling and other non-taxable allowances. The publishing of these scales also means the public sector compensation review is nearing completion. The consultations led by the Transformation Implementation Unit, TIU, have also worked out additional increases in grants, taxi allowances, compensation for meals and other gratuities. Areas of the review which sparked much debate, including the duty concession for motor vehicles, overtime and related payments, and uniform allowances are still being discussed. The compensation review process is just one aspect of the overall restructuring of the civil service being led by the Transformation Implementation Unit. The unit was established in 2017 under the Finance Ministry. The changes are expected to save taxpayer dollars and make the public sector more efficient. Javon Keyes, TVJ News.